All right, what is going on ladies and gentlemen, Tempest is here and today we continue playing our Cold War Park farm. Our field number 9 is getting sold with canola and um, nothing else we should be checking in here. Let's start our, ooh, harvester is full by the way, yep, I'm gonna go ahead and help it unload. Let's start the tractor over here and approach our harvester. So yeah, this farm is a little bit... Um, a little bit awkward for me I don't know what to do here I don't have any funds necessary I know guys you told me to uh, buy cattle and then it's gonna be awesome to sell all of that on great demand it's gonna be great but I just don't have money for that so maybe I should save up in this episode we will be saving up a bit of money I guess we will be doing wood chipping because we bought it we bought the wood chipper itself so there is nothing else we can do so far but just use it and yeah, nothing else. Let's just park it properly. Just like so. We will be setting up course flow on this field though. Ooh, what? Interesting. I guess you gotta start the harvester in order to unload. This is awesome. Don't know if it's realistic or not. I suppose it is. There is, should be something working in there in order to unload stuff. So yeah, um, let's just unload this harvester. Start it. Keep an eye on our sower. Our harvester is empty now. We can start the auto combine, which is over here. Let's drive it. All right, we shouldn't experience any more problems. This field is huge as well, by the way. Oh my gosh, my mouse is a bit stuck. Uh, there you go. This field isn't small, let's face it. We're gonna have plenty of yield from this one. Our a new hold is gonna help our another new hole to unload here and let's go ahead and set up course play I think I will be setting it up somewhere here so that we won't be bothered with the uh, constant unloading while we're doing our wood chipping in this episode um, let's go ahead and set it up I think this is gonna be a good place to start maybe maybe even a bit farther damn it I, have, I haven't set up course ball for a while i already forgot what needs to be done all right i think that this is not gonna look very realistic but starting point should be somewhere here so that our course ball won't have any problems to reach this point from any point of this field yes it doesn't look very realistic but this is the only way you can set it set course play on these weird fields all right doesn't look very bad i guess although these fences could be a problem in case i forget to <laughs> open them one day not big of a deal oh my gosh this is heavy for the tractor i'm using right now i forgot to unload but should work out just fine in the end all right this is gonna be our stopping point and i think it should work just fine let's stop it over here it's fine yep it's gonna be our stopping point we will be uh, detecting our harvester just in case TC and stuff it's awesome uh, start at 85 drive on at 100 every usual stuff let's drive the course and uh, you know what I will be looking at how well they perform first of all yes I know this uh, trailer is almost full although I think there is enough space for it to be unloaded once again all right, hopefully it will work out in the end. Harvester is full, but we'll wait until it is unloaded. It is nicely approached by course play, very cautiously. But it's fine, I guess. And then it will be unloaded just like so. All right. So far, so good. I hope course play is going to wait until outer combine is going to proceed forward. And then go to the starting point and from there it should work just fine. Mm-hmm. There is structure. There is one structure over here. Where is our stair? Stair is sewing, so that's fine. And there are no problems, I guess. There are no problems. Yep. It has enough space now. I forgot that uh, last episode I did set up for triple triple headland, and now it had a bit of a problem dealing with a double headland. That's fine. It's fine. All right. Course play looks like it is working. I think it wants to wait, but I won't wait. I'll drive it now just to make sure it's not gonna bump it. 
All right, it's fine. Thank, thanks God. Thanks God. Nothing bad happened. All right, course play is gonna approach the starting point. It's gonna go all the way across the field, right through the canola itself. It's not very realistic, I know. There is a mod, actually, I heard about it. There is a mod that allows you to uh, destroy whatever crops your uh, tractor drives on. And um, that's quite realistic, I guess. But then with course play, it's gonna be very bad, very bad, very bad mod, nasty mod. All right, this is the way. We are gonna approach the starting point of the field. It's the starting point of our route here, I mean. And nice, I love, so far it's great. I love how the trailer closed itself. Now we are going too fast, too fast, too fast crossplay. Don't go so fast. All right, that's fine. And uh, yeah, with crossplay, you need to take your time. You need to plan. You need to drive a bit slower than you usually do because something weird may always happen. You should keep that in mind. So far, I'm loving it. Look at that. Our process looks like it's gonna be automated. The only tricky part is gonna be this turn over here. If course play is gonna deal with that, I'm gonna be happy. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Course play, course play, course play, course play, course play. Great! Yes, I love you, course play. You are doing just awesome. Now return, please, without any accident, and I will just love the hell out of you. Come on, come on, come on. Yes, it looks like we are gonna be able to set up course play just fine all right there is our harvester course play is unloading it and there should not be any problem dealing with the field number three how awesome is that we are gonna unload it without any problems of course there may be a hiccup here and there with the course play bumping into the hedges but overall i love how everything works we will be needing to adjust it now and then but it's fine it's fine so far i love it look at that how perfect is it synergy in here is just perfect and um, yeah, I don't even wish for a bigger harvester when course play works so smoothly. Oh, oh my gosh, but what does the auto combine? Oh, this is weird. Why didn't you just cut this edge in here? Oh, this is weird. All right. Nevertheless, nevertheless, look at that. I'm happy with the, the with the performance overall. All right, we will be needing to set up um, our mowing process in the next episode on this farm. So. Uh, we need to sell at least 52,000 liters of wood chips, so that's gonna take us a while, I guess, in this episode. I hope to fill up the whole trailer in here. We definitely need another, another tractor, because uh, one is just not enough. I gotta adjust the trailer, I gotta adjust the um, wood chipper itself, and um, you know what? I'm thinking to sell it, to be honest. I don't think that wood chipper is very profitable it's very time consuming process logging is so much better and um, i just don't know if i should continue wood chipping maybe i will sell it uh, in this episode though we will be doing wood chipping so all right uh, sewing on the other hand look at that how perfect is that yes it's not very perfect there are a bunch of straw on the ground over there and over there and over there and over there but those little pieces they don't matter on a huge field like this it should work out just fine in the end uh, the bigger picture is that uh, we are done and uh, our sowing machine has just enough seeds inside to be able to sow field number 9. How awesome is that? And it looks like this is going to be our stopping point. This is... And detach. Awesome. We will go to the wood chipping site because we definitely could use help over there. What about T6? I want to quickly check on it. It's awesome. Everything is working out just great. It approaches my harvester just on time, whenever it's 100% full. No time wasted here. Uh, Puma, on the other hand, is gonna go ahead to the forest, which I know how to get to. It's gonna take us a while to get there, but we'll get there eventually. And I will not disturb you any, any more, buddy, because I thought that Styre over there is gonna handle that job alone perfectly. But it looks like it's struggling. We will be needing to readjust our trailer all the time that's for sure it is looking beautiful gorgeous uh, gorgeous forest in here and yes by the way just wanted to give you a small tip guys uh, farming simulator is on sale right now it's 40 percent discount on steam um, sadly there are no discounts for the dlc so in case you want to buy that that's the perfect time to buy a farming simulator Yes, it's the perfect time. 40% discount. Not every day that happens, but today is the day. So in case you are watching it today or maybe even tomorrow, it should be there. 
discount is there so you can go ahead and purchase this amazing game and have a lot of fun with it let's start stop the engine interesting interesting maybe this tractor is not powerful enough uh, to power our wood chipper that would be interesting to know let's go ahead and quickly check my theory all right now let's see can you imagine it actually requires more powerful structure in order to work so our styre over there is not able to power our wood chipper how amazing is that wow crazy cool all right is it working i can hear the way our engine started to roar oh, well adjust it just like so look take a look at that whole tree is going in that is going in whatever you do now tree just don't have much choice just don't have much choice and interestingly enough it's gone what what the hell quite a bug oh my gosh it's gone why is it the way it's gonna happen always or I don't know gotta try it again gotta try it again because if this that's the way it's gonna happen I guess the whole tree won't go in or maybe we're gonna have to clean it before we put it inside the wood chipper it's just very not realistic I guess uh, all right this is working much better now take a look at that finally so that tree was bugged as a matter of fact this one is working just fine eat it eat it eat it eat it more chips please and our trailer is getting filled up over there shouldn't take us long I guess it, it, it is working much better with the full tree I was cutting it down into smaller logs hoping that that's the right way to do things but it looks like whole tree is working just fine working out great I think we will be able to fill up this whole trailer in this episode that's gonna be awesome if I can do that all right another we will pick up these small logs in here because they are just a bit annoying to the eye other than that I don't see any problem all right pick up look at my tractor wobbling mate all right yeah the whole uh, wood chipping process is uh, very different from logging process even though uh, you're using same crane same process of picking it up but loading process is completely different the way you're gonna have to adjust the tree in order for it to be eaten by the wood chipper itself <laughs> or should I say processed by the wood chipper is very different it's fine while we are at it again T6 are you doing fine mate you are doing fine incredible at least we don't have any problems with it unloading and delivering our uh, crops look at that how amazing is that everything is so well automated yes I told you I expected hiccups now and then but other than that it's working just fine the main thing is unloading itself I'm happy that it doesn't encounter any problems delivering the crops all right there you go the harvester is almost full too this field is gonna take a while to be complete I guess all right it worked out fine it's gonna fall look at these trees they don't want to be stopboard this time I love you guys all right one more and we definitely need scorpion king I actually never expected that I'm gonna love scorpion king so much and I just start that up no why come on guys this is not the way I planned it to fall. If you just cut your tree this way, it should fall to the right, no? Or am I dumb? It usually does. Look at that. What's the way you're gonna choose? This one doesn't wanna fall at all, as if nothing happened. Alright, once more. Yep, it's just that... Doesn't care. It's like whatever, I'm still standing there. Doo -doo, doo -doo. 
thing else to do. Oh my gosh, wood chipping is freaking annoying. I think this is going to be the last episode. I am doing wood chipping because it's just a lot of time wasted and at least until we've got uh, the uh, front loader. F front loader and scorpion king because yeah, it takes you ton of time to do that and logging would have been so much more profitable especially at this crucial time when we need money all right release now and no yep i gotta babysit it or you've gotta put it perfectly aligned with the wood chipper otherwise it's just gonna give you a lot of headache just like so and release release all righty much better now Yep, no. Again. Alright now, tree. I'm done with you. I'm done playing with you. You're all weird. Going in everywhere. Look at this. Yep. It is wobbling because the crane was not closed properly. Let's do that. Release. Go in. Oh my gosh, this tree was stubborn as a donkey. And uh, our trailer seems to be full and I'm gonna be happy to go ahead and sell it as soon as we're done with this tree. Is it by the way full? Yes, it's 91% full. So I will be going now and selling it because it looks like we're gonna be getting 20k bucks out of it. I'm happy. We will be stopping our engine also. Don't need that. Let's uh, go ahead and sell our wood chips. Alrighty, let's go ahead and find the optimal route for us. It should be... Should be... A biomass heating plant. Not bio... Oh, or is it biogas? No, not biogas. BGAs. It's a biomass heating plant. Is the one we need to head to. That's where you sell your wood chips. Interestingly enough, we gotta go around all the way field number 22 and field number 20 in order to get there interesting or oh, maybe i could have gotten there through the forest who interesting maybe i could you know what i will try to explore that new route even though i'm halfway there i'll just i just want to quickly check if there are any possibilities like that be interesting to do let's go ahead and go this way maybe there is a dead end who knows there you go, through the forest! We can do that! Ooh, these trees, by the way, I'm sure they're transparent. They're here just for, de for decorative purposes, I am sure. You know what? I have a slight feeling that this could be the right way to go. Maybe even to the biomass plant itself. How awesome is that? This is gonna be super awesome. If this road is gonna lead somewhere, oh my gosh, so excited. Exploring. It should be leading us where I want it to go. Ooh, interesting. Look at that, and we are there. Wow, this is convenient. I'm gonna keep that in mind. That we can go this way to the biomass. Amazing. Alright, let's see how much this game is gonna give us for that freaking end no don't do this to me game don't do this to me don't do this to me no <laughs> it's a dead end and my tractor is stuck oh no oh no we're in trouble no we gotta find our way out of this mess I cannot see anything oh my gosh at least we made it out of here oh my gosh so yeah don't go this way guys this is a trap uh, yeah at least we are doing a couple of things at the same time I'm not very disappointed with the results cuz uh, you should keep in mind that while we are doing this a wood chipping job here. We also collect our field number three. We harvest it and collect it at the same time. How awesome is that? So everything is going much faster than it usually does. There you go. You should come a bit closer. So yeah, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. More money. More money. More money, please. Uh, 
All right, it is 10k already. 29, and I'm happy as a little elephant. Yes, even more than that. 30k now, 20,600 euros. And I'm happy with the result. So yeah, I guess that's gonna be it for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. Our T4 will not allow our harvester to work as usual. Uh, we will be moving it a little bit. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. In the next episode, guys, I uh, will be somehow purchasing mowers for sure. Because I want to invest in my cows here as well. Or maybe I will buy uh, pigs and, and beef in order to make money faster. Oh my gosh, I, I'm blocking it myself now. Why? Why, why am I better than quest play? Alright, that's fine. Thanks a lot guys for watching this episode. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And as usual, live like there is no tomorrow. Bye-bye.